Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to program a cone fire with the V6CF controller. So the first thing we need to do is decide what type of cone fire we want to do. So we've got the options for a slow bisque, a fast bisque, a slow glaze, and a fast glaze. So I'm going to do a slow bisque this time. So press that button, you'll see SBC, which stands for slow bisque. Now for the other ones, you'll see you know FBC for fast bisque. SGL for slow glaze, FGL for fast glaze. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the slow bisque, like I mentioned, and press the enter button. So now it's asking you what cone number you'd like to fire to, and I'm going to go ahead and do cone 04, so if you type in your cone number and press the enter button. Now it's asking you for a hold time, and I'm going to just do, for now, just do a 15 minute hold, so just type in 15. Now if if you want to do an hour long, you would just add another zero and it would be an hour and 50 minute hold. But I'm going to do a 15. And now it takes us back to idle. Now there's a couple more settings we need to do before we're done. So the next thing we want to do is press the menu button until PRHT appears. And there it is. So we press the enter button and this stands for preheat time. So if you'd like to do a preheat time, um, you know, let's just say we want to do a two hour preheat. Press 200 and press enter. And now we're back at the idle screen again. And the next thing we want to do is just make sure what our cone offsets are set to. So we'll press the menu button again until we see CNOS. Okay, now that we're there, we'll press enter. And this stands for cone offset. So we're doing cone 04. So that's okay. So we'll press enter. If not, type in the cone that you're, you're wanting to set the offset for press enter. Now this is the degrees of offset. So if you put a 9 0 in front of it, it will be a negative offset. So right now I've got a negative offset of 18 degrees, but if you wanted a, a positive offset, you would have just typed in 18. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. So now we've got our cone offset. The next thing is if you want to do a delay, so you'd press the delay button. And this just is you can delay, you know, for an hour or two before you're firing if you'd like. For it before it begins. So if you wanted to type in 100 for an hour, I'm not going to put one in, so I'll just push enter. The next thing is the alarm. So if we press alarm, right now it's set for all nines, which means it will not go off. Let's say if your top temperature was 2300 and you don't want it to go any higher, just type in 2300. And if it goes any degree above that, the alarm will sound. So press enter. And now we're back at the idle screen again. Now the last thing is, is whether or not you want your error codes on or off. So you can press the menu button until you see ERCD, and there it is, press enter. And right now our error codes are on, so that's good. If not, you can toggle between off and on by pressing the one key. So we're going to leave them on, press enter, and now we're back at the idle screen. Okay, so that is it for programming. Now if you want to review all of your program before you fire, press review program, and it should go through all of the parameters you had just set. That way you can just double check everything. There's our hold, our delay, the alarm, our error codes, and then the number of firings the controller has done. And the other thing, if you're, if you're setting for cone fire, and you're not sure what the temperature for the cone is, you can always use your cone table button down here, press it, and then you'd type in whatever cone you, you want to know the top temperature for. So like that one was cone 04, we we'll press enter, and it's 1945. So if we want to do it for a different temperature, or different cones, then we just press 06, press enter, and it's 1828. And that's just a good reference as far as your cone numbers are concerned. But that's it for this one, so remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!